Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Linksci Two Hundred One. Today, we are going to talk about semantics. Six set six point one is the introduction. Okay. So far, we have looked at all the bits that make up words, sounds, and sentences. Now we are going to look at something a little bit deeper, which is meaning. Okay. So we are going to talk about semantics. Semantics is a subdiscipline of linguistics that have many layers. It's primarily defined as the study of meaning. But you have to know semantics is actually very very complicated. The study of linguistics meaning is not just about what words or sentences mean, but also about the nature of concepts and understanding. So there are a great deal of overlap with other disciplines as well, such as philosophy, psychology, and math. Okay. And there are three different subfields of semantics. The first one is lexical semantics, which is about the meaning of words. And then we have sentential semantics, the meaning of phrases and sentences. And then we have pragmatics, the study of language meaning in social context. So this is the smallest field, and a little bit bigger. We are going to talk about sentence, and then we are going to put sentence into. A social context, right? Small, a little bit bigger, much bigger. But in this lecture, we are we are going to focus on lexical and sentential semantics only. Okay, we are not going to talk about pragmatics. Okay. Our semantics knowledge includes. The following items, okay, whether a sentence is meaningful or not, whether a word a word had has multiple meanings, or two words have the same meaning, okay. Same for the sentence, whether a sentence has a has multiple meanings, or two sentences have the same meaning. And then we have the we know the relation between two sentences. Where the two sentences have the same or opposite meanings, and then we know the relation of the words, the sound to the uh, to this world, to the real world object, right? You know, John loves unicorns. You know, unicorns is not a real world object. Okay, and you also know that. Truth value of a sentence, whether sentence is true or false. And also know、uh, whether words or sentences are related. And you also know that whether a sentence means exactly what the words, what the words mean, or something more, right? So there are some idiomatic meaning, right? Mary let the cat out of the bag. It's not a li literal meaning. You know how to interpret the meaning of a phrase or sentence, when even when some when it is not complete. Actually, this is very a very interesting property of human language. There are a lot of、uh, redundant information, right? So, for example,、uh, I didn't. Intentionally, I leave out this this word. She wasn't going to let go of the problem, like a、uh, with a bone. You know, this this blank must be dark, right? I can't believe my something when I saw this person, right? It must be eyes, right? And you know, what what this blank should be, right? So the very the very interesting question is that how do we know all this? What is the nature of meaning? I don't have an answer. Okay. Then 
this is a misconception that some people think that the word meaning just the dictionary meaning. This is not true. Okay, word meaning is not the dictionary meaning. So, the addition, the the disadvantage of the dictionary meaning is that you will be circular, right? So, for example, if you want to try to define this word, then you are going to use this word, another word to define this meaning. And you have to, and then what is the meaning of this one? Then we have to use another meaning, another word to define this guy. Right? And it goes on and on. So, if you try to use the dictionary meaning to define the meaning of some word, you are going to have a circular problem. Okay. And there are other problem, problems as well in addition to the circularity. So the first problem is that the, the additional meaning is limited. There are some words which are not in the dictionary, but they still have meaning, right? And the dictionary does not include the speaker's intention. And the dictionary is not really about the nature of our uh, language knowledge because we have to be able to to read to have an access to the dictionary meaning. But way before we are able to read, we have, we already have a lot of a lot of semantics, semantics knowledge already. Okay, now we are going to talk about semantics, semantic relations. As we mentioned before, we are we are going to talk about lexical relations and sentential relations only. Okay.